how to install Android 12 beta 4 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Android 12 beta 4 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader and then you also need to have a custom recovery installed. And another super important prerequisite is that make sure you are coming from a ROM which is based on AOSP. Now, how do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install a custom recovery? How do you install a ROM which is based on AOSP? Videos for those can be found in the description of this video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device because if your device is encrypted then you will have to perform a format data. Those of you whose device is not encrypted you have to flash disable force encryption and you do not have to perform a format data. So let me repeat myself one more time. Device encrypted is equal to format data and device not encrypted or decrypted is equal to flash disable force encryption format data not needed and before you ask me can you do this without having to flash a rom which is based on aosp be my guest feel free to try but i will tell you what the developer recommends and in this case the developer does recommend that you are coming from a rom which is based on aosp so here we are redmi k20 pro xiaomi mi 90 pro whatever you want to call it it is on a rom which is based on aosp and this here is the pixel experience plus edition next up what are the files which you need so all the files which you need are linked in the description of the video and you need the rom itself which is your android 12 beta 4 for the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro then you need the firmware file for your variant of the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro do note this is the latest android 11 firmware again you need firmware only you do not need the firmware plus vendor firmware only then you need the recovery which is recommended by the developer which is your shrp this is also a zip file and if your device is not encrypted again if your device is not encrypted then you need disable force encryption so you can go into settings and once you're in settings go into security might have to tap or advanced but you have an option called encryption and credentials this says phone is not encrypted that means i need to flash disable force encryption if your phone is encrypted then you have to perform a format data again if your phone is encrypted then you have to perform a format data next thing you need to do is you can go into settings and once you are in settings go into security remove your screen lock fingerprint and face unlock and then go into accounts and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we are doing this because we are going from one rom to another and i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up we need to boot into our recovery so for starters turn off your device once the device has turned off press and hold press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo and here it is we have booted into our current recovery which is twrp if you get the message about allow system read only we do need to swipe to allow modifications but touch drivers do take some time to load so be patient here it is touch is now working and we are on the keep system read only prompt herein i just select never show the screen again and say swipe to allow modifications next up we need to go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder if you transferred them manually you would know the location first of all we need to flash this shrp recovery which is the one which is recommended by the developer to install android 12 beta 4 so we're going to select this file and then swipe to confirm flash and before you ask me can this be done with any other recovery feel free to try i will tell you the process which is recommended by the developer so here it is it was flashed without any issues tap on the home button reboot and now select recovery 
So there it is. We do have the SHRP logo and we have now booted into Skyhawk recovery project on our Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Here in first of all, let us go into wipe, advanced wipe and select Dalvik cache system vendor and data. Once that is done, tap on the check mark and you need to confirm it. So tap on it one more time and everything was successful and then you can tap on the check mark this will take us back to the main menu now go into flash by default it is in the download folder if it is not again navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in this case it is the download folder now first file you need to select is the firmware file and then tap on this zip plus here in select the android 12 beta 4 and because we had a decrypted device again our device was not encrypted so tap on the zip plus and select the disable force encryption if your device was encrypted then you should not have downloaded disable force encryption until and unless you want to decrypt your device now once we have selected all the three files which are needed tap on the check mark on the bottom right and it is giving us some confirmation we are going to say flash so here it is you can see the first file was flashed we got script succeeded result was one so this is our firmware file in case you get any error over here that means you're not using the correct file for your device and again links for your firmwares are in the description of this video now once all the files have flashed successfully we can of course scroll up and we already confirmed script succeeded result is one for the firmware next up here and we are flashing android 12 beta 4 again we got the message install was completed welcome to android 12 script succeeded result was one next up because our device was decrypted we are flashing the disable force encryption now with disable force encryption make sure it is patching some f stab in vendor slash etc and that is being done in this case so all the files were flashed without any error let us tap on the check mark back on the home screen now what in case disable force encryption does not patch any file for you well in that case go into mount make sure vendor is mounted and checked and then flash the disable force encryption file one more time now those of you whose device was encrypted those of you whose device was encrypted you need to go into wipe format data type in yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important on your device for me my device was decrypted so i am going to skip that step and we can tap on the center button which will take us to the home screen here in reboot and then select reboot one more time and there it is we do have the google boot animation on our redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro which means we should be booting into android 12 beta 4 and the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient now do note you might see a small flicker in the boot animation and that is something which is normal and it is occurring across multiple devices not an issue here it is we are on the setup screen speech services did crash can be ignored close the app and now let me finish the initial setup real quick so here we are on the home screen we can go into settings and then you can go into about phone of course it will show as the pixel 5 and here and if i tap on the android version you will notice android version is 12 tap on it one more time here it is the current time and this is the new android 12 easter egg once you go to 12 you should get a pretty cool looking animation and we have now successfully installed android 12 beta 4 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro we can also go into settings and then we can go into security to check for the encryption and here it is phone is not encrypted this means disable force encryption was flashed without any errors now i also installed the open camera application so that we can check if the front camera is working or not so let us open the open camera application flip the camera there it is open camera is working on the front camera without any issues now what if the camera does not work for you well you can go into settings go into system and here in front camera settings calibrate the motor and should be working without any issues those of you who face audio lag issues on the build well you can go into the google application and 
go into information of this go into permissions and then we need to disable the microphone permission for the google application and again do this if and only if you are having media playback and lag issues and there it is peeps that is how you install android 12 beta 4 on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you